Hi everybody, this is the Golden Era Bookworm and today I'd like to talk about Vince Garonda and his thoughts on breath control and hyperventilation for fat loss. Now Vince was, uh, as many of us know, very eccentric in his thoughts, but he was well ahead of his time. And today I'd like to really geek out on his aspects and concepts on, of fat loss through breathing. Now, in his many booklets, he states that one should be breathing in and out on every up movement and down movement. That is, for example, on the concentric part of a lift, one would breathe in and out, and you would also breathe in and out on the eccentric. Now, he believed that this particular type of breathing, especially for uh, getting defined, getting ripped, and, and losing uh, fat, yeah, losing fat, basically, fat tissue, um, would therefore become a cardiovascular type of workout. Um, he's very famous for saying that breathing is the best fat trimmer of them all. And he also recommended hyperventilation. Hyperventilating actually between sets. Uh, and I will explain that technique as he taught it in the next slide. So the technique that he mentions in his booklets is that firstly, one should hyperventilate be, uh, between five to ten deep, uh, so five to ten breaths between each uh, each of your sets, and then continue on to the next set. The technique of breathing should be as shown in this diagram, which I got off the internet. Uh, you would have the hands on the thighs or knees, and keeping the knees slightly bent, you would place your head down on the chest and keep the chest high and you would breathe through pursed lips. That is uh, not, you know, not completely closed, but slightly open. Uh, and in this form of breathing, uh, this would actually stimulate um, fat loss. Now, as I said, I wanted to really geek out on, on this and see, I mean, the, the, the question is, was, was Vince crazy? Uh, is or was he really ahead of his time? And I mean, everybody knows Vince is a genius. He was a genius. And let's look at the biochemistry of what he's actually talking about. I'm a scientist, and for me, the biochemistry is very easy. Fat oxidation, otherwise known as beta oxidation, or lipolysis. Lipo, in the, the basically lipolysis means the lysis or the breakdown of of uh, lipo, lipo means fat, fat tissue as in lipids, lipolysis means therefore the breakdown of lipids, the breakdown of fat. They, they are all interchangeable names for fat loss basically, for, for breaking down fat tissue. And, it does, and, and, and when you break down fat tissue, uh, the general population uh, and gym instructors and, and sports uh, therapists, whatever, would, would call this fat loss and I'll explain why. Fat oxidation is shown in this formula here, which shows a triglyceride molecule, triglyceride or, or a fat molecule, when broken down, gives you 55 units of carbon dioxide plus 52 uh, two units of water plus energy. Energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate, which is a form of energy which is what we actually use to contract muscle, to, to move around. Without energy, we wouldn't be able to exist, basically. We'd be dead, right? Uh, this is why we actually take in food, whether it's in the form of protein, carbohydrates, or fat. This gives us energy to live, right? And it is the energy that is obtained from food through metabolism that allows us to do many things, right? But I'm not going to go into in detail biochemistry. I want to get to the point. The point is, the point I'm trying to make with this formula here that I've put up is that one triglyceride molecule, one molecule of fat essentially, gives you car uh, carbon dioxide and water, right? Um, now notice that this triglyceride molecule has oxygen added to it. That means that in order to break down fat into carbon dioxide and water, you need oxygen. Now, if we read this following paragraph that I got from this study, you can see that it says, complete oxidation, that is breakdown, of 10 kilograms of human fat 
requires 29 kilograms of inhaled oxygen and this produces 28 kilograms of carbon dioxide and 11 kilograms of water. Essentially what this is saying is that the metabolic fate of fat uh, is it leaves the body so when you break down fat it actually leaves the body as carbon dioxide as gas and water through sweat and so what Vince was saying is essentially correct if you breathe while you're working out you will break down fat and as you breathe so as you breathe in this helps the breakdown of fat as you breathe out you're actually breathing the fat out. If you don't believe me, check out the next slide. This particular uh, article, which is uh, from the University of New South Wales, I actually used to work there and teach there as a, uh, as a uh, lecturer, is titled, and it's from the uh, British Medical Journal. It was published in 2014. I, I, as I told you, I was going to geek out on this particular concept of Vince. And it's titled, When Somebody Loses Weight, where does the fat go? Essentially, this article teaches you, and I'm going to put the link at the bottom of this, uh, on the description for this video, but it basically, it basically summarizes uh, the finding that when you break down fat by breathing oxygen in, the fat leaves the body as water and carbon dioxide, and therefore, Vince is absolutely, absolutely right. Breathing is the best fat trimmer there is. Without breathing, you could not lose fat. The man was a genius and he was definitely ahead of his time. He used biochemistry, then the body's natural mechanisms, not drugs, only what gave uh, what nature provided us to yeah to develop amazing physiques as we know from the golden era. I hope you've enjoyed my geek out on uh, Vince's uh, particular concept in fat burning which essentially is breathing the technique of breathing if you wish to use it let me know how you go I am going to plan using it myself because I think I need to lo lose a little bit of fat myself but let me know how it goes if you do use it um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it hasn't been too complicated essentially the message is that through breathing you can lose fat and done correctly, um, literally you'll be breathing out the fat. It's amazing. Vince really was a master. He was the iron guru. God bless him. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments. Did you like this geek out? Would you like to see more of this kind of uh, research on uh, real research? Because I do look for scientific articles on Vince's, uh, on Vince's concepts. If you do, I will continue making these. Leave me your comments. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. This is the Golden Era Bookworm, and bye for now.